millions of dollars worth of art, packed up tight at this temperature-controlled Hong Kong warehouse. It's not the stockpile of some art-obsessed collector. It's more like a stock market. Takung Art sells shares of things like Tibetan porcelain stones and modern Chinese paintings. And it's taking off big time. The company's portfolio value has increased by close to 700% over the past two years, as tens of thousands of investors have bought in. But they're not doing it for the love of art. They're doing it because they want a safe place to park their money. This is how it works. People who own a work of art can list it on Takung's trading platform. Its price tag is then broken down into a number of shares, which users can then trade. After 10 years, the piece is sold and the profits divided between shareholders. The China investment um, environment hasn't been that great from the housing market perspective for the past few years. Um, so maybe they are looking for alternative investment. Takung is tapping into huge angst amongst China's wealthy. With stock markets and property prices slumping, investors are desperate for a safe haven. But analysts say this business model should be approached with caution. You should learn about the asset that you're trading, first and foremost. Then I, what I would really suggest is that they collect art, that they buy the art, that they meet the artist, and they support the overall system. Uh, so really, no, I'm not sure I would suggest that this is the best way for them to, to kind of enter the art world. Takung's success comes as big auction houses like Sotheby's and Christie's face a slowdown, but they're hardly likely to jump on board the bandwagon. Sotheby's says they want to sell art for people to actually look at. Any financial gain should just be considered a bonus.